armored guard shot in the arm in what deputies are calling a very bold ATM robbery. This happened outside of Chase Bank near the busy Walmart off the North Freeway near West Road, taking place about 1230 this afternoon. ABC 13 reporter Chaz Miller is there live. Chaz, we now know two men are on the run from this incident. They are, Adam, and let's start with the good news. The man who was shot in the arm, he's expected to be just fine. He was transported to a hospital and he will be okay. But let's take a look at what you just talked about. This shopping center is busy. It happened at a Chase Bank here in the shopping center at West Road and I-45. The Harris County Sheriff's Office was called out here around 1040 for a weapons disturbance. When they arrived, they learned there were two men in this Brinks truck, a driver and the man who was shot. He was the one at that ATM. He was servicing the machine. Two men approached. One held the driver of the truck at gunpoint. The other fired that shot at the man we've been talking about. In the meantime, another wrinkle to this, an off-duty University of Houston police officer was here working security. She got out of her car and fired shots towards the suspects as they fled. It's unknown if they were struck. They were returning fire as they fled. They ultimately got away with three cartridges from that ATM, which is a pretty brazen move, considering all this happened, as you mentioned, in broad daylight at a very busy shopping center. It's very dangerous. It's very bold to be doing this at 1040 in the morning when uh, there's a lot of activity at this uh, Walmart as well as these other businesses in this area. Very bold. I said they got away with those three cartridges. It's unknown how much, if any, cash was in those cartridges. The suspects are two black men, one in their 20s, one in their 30s, one of them wearing a pink camo shirt, the other one wearing a gray sweatshirt. Both men had masks. And coming up on Eyewitness News at 4, we'll be back out here to tell you more about the investigation and why the FBI has to be involved in this as well. Live in North Harris County, I'm Chaz Miller, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.